All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot going on in the world of golf content right now, and we are going to talk about all of it. I had literally an entire another video plan for today. It was going to be my breakdown of the Grant Mike Taylor right thing, but that is getting pushed now. This, I mean, I woke up and there was like 12 things, and I'm just like, I have to talk about it. So I'm here to break them down for you. If you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button for me. If you do before Friday, we're gonna be giving away a pair of these nice signature handmade leather golf shoes from Goat Lane, some of the best quality shoes on the market. Giving them away. All you have to do is be subscribed. So hit that button right now. Okay, so first piece of news that slapped me in the face when I woke up this morning. Bob the Sports officially partnering with Callaway Golf in a very similar fashion. Less hyped, less built up, less all that. Obviously, in the good, good announcement. We didn't even know this was coming. At least I didn't. This was just dropped on their podcast channel and then on their Instagram and socials this morning that they are collaborating with Callaway. Now, obviously, I guess this makes a little bit of sense because they were at the launch event and they were there and they did the podcast with Good Good and they did all this stuff. And the video that they published today was obviously from that top golf experience and so it's almost like were they like there and then they just like had a handshake deal with Cal and they were like oh yeah let's do this or was this something that was a bit more pre-calculated but just wasn't as hyped up and as led into than the good good thing because it definitely feels a little bit out of the blue and obviously it's an interesting one it really shows like the dedication of these brands in this case Callaway to getting into the content space moving away from those kind of lower lower level professional golfers sponsoring them not moving as much product and moving into the content marketing space with these influencers in the golf world because it really is becoming like a diamond dozen for these golfers to partner with brands and now again the bob the sports thing is it going to be the same levity of the good good collaboration i kind of doubt it because good good really tried to make it seem like it was not a sponsor club deal it wasn't just you know whatever whereas the bob the sports callaway thing i'm assuming is probably going to be a bit more along the lines of like just a normal club sponsorship kind of like grant had with mizuno and micah had with cobra and garrett had with mizuno something a bit more similar to that i'm sure there's gonna be some collaborative obviously they had the graphic of you know the sketch going on the clubs and there might be some branding put in but is it going to be like a custom club line and things that we might see down the pipeline for good good i kind of doubt it but at the end of the day obviously it's just a big content play for that very similar to good good they're going to have opportunities likely and they talked about it to film with a bunch of pros and to do just a bunch of cool stuff and these brand opportunities from these big companies coming in scooping up these content creators i don't think we're going to see them slowing down anytime soon so i mean Titleist, get yeah, Taylor made Callaway. Hello, uh, hey, hey, just kidding. That's probably a while away. Anyways, speaking of good, good, this one came out of the blue. This one was kind of a bit of a shock, and a lot of you DM me this this morning, so obviously I had to mention it. You know. It, <sighs> I, it's kind of like a passing thing, but it's also kind of like, really? Like, I don't know. It kind of caught me a little off guard too. And then what I'm talking about is TaylorMade had this post on their Instagram this morning with this caption, when good becomes great, 100. Welcome to Team Grant Horvat and Micah Morris, TaylorMade Golf. Um, I mean, obviously the wording there, we're all, we're all not blind to see what that wording likely is supposed to mean. And even if by some extreme misstep that wasn't intentional and they just completely misworded that horribly, it obviously looks like they're talking about moving on from good, good to great, great, which is tailor-made. It's, I mean, I'm from a from a big brand like Taylor made to kind of be stepping like I thought we were past the drama of Grant and Michael leaving. I honestly did, and I'm the, I'm the one who talks about this stuff. I'm the news reporter of this golf world, and I thought we were past this. I I didn't think this was going to be brought up again. I wasn't going to bring it up again. And here's Taylor made one of the biggest brands in golf, sort of bringing it up again and sort of rubbing a bit of salt in the wound. I, whether I mean again, I can't say they did it on purpose for sure, but I mean if they didn't, that that person's got to be getting fired. Like that is just a mad. I can't believe that happened. It's it's kind of crazy right and like it's not the worst thing in the world but at the same time it's like what why like why like we're, we were all happy <laughs> for grant micah i don't think there was any negativity about the signings like all the comments were super positive super supportive and now you go read the comments on that post and it's all like really really tailor made really like that's petty blah 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 blah. like i don't know feels like a slight bit unnecessary but also i mean it's entertaining as heck all right that's the news wanted to update you guys hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this content tomorrow hopefully as long as nothing else slaps me in the face i'll have my official reaction video and inside thoughts about the Grant and Micah TaylorMade signing. See you then.